All right. Awesome. Thank you everyone for joining. It is Wednesday and I know that these are supposed to be on Tuesday, but we're having we had a babysitter miss schedule this week. So um, we are, we'll be back on track next week. So today I just want to touch base kind of um, not recap summit because me, Meg and Abby Walsh are going to be doing that tomorrow night at 930. So hopefully more people can hop on that. We're each going to give like our two tips that we took away from summit. Um, some of them are going to be like, duh, but then how we do that and how we're explaining that might help you better. Um, so we'll do like a summit recap and just kind of owning your business tomorrow night. So make sure you, I know it's late. I know it's 930. Like my, I'm going to be in bed by then, but you know, something that hit me at summit was I don't want to use the excuse of time. Like it's 45 minutes of my day of sleep to sacrifice to, to be on that call and to lead from the front. And if you guys get on that call, your coaches will get on that call and you, you know, we'll go into that, but make the sacrifice, whether it's sleep time with family, I promise it'll be worth it. Um, it's one time this week and a, a one night event. So make sure you get on that. We'll, we'll recap summit and kind of go over that. Um, but today I, so I think I kind of talked about this in the live videos yesterday. Like this summit was my favorite summit for no other reason, like for just the team feel like it was so fun to laugh with so many of you and make memories that weren't about coaching. And there were conversations that weren't just about business, but about how we parent. Like I remember sitting at lunch and Heather Long was like, Oh yeah, my kids each get a show when they wake up. And I was like, hell yes, me too. Like it just made me not feel like, you know, I was this horrible parent for letting my kids watch an hour and a half TV at 6 a.m. Um, you know, and so it was just fun to laugh. And John, I had um, Alyssa there. And so we were juggling the newborn thing together. And I just really felt like a team. And I have not felt that for my personal team um, before, partly because last year I was not in the, men the right space with my business. Like I just mentally was not in it. Um, and then years prior, I missed it. And then the year before that, I only had like four people there. So there wasn't this huge team. And this year, there were like 20 of us representing Team FHK. And it just made me so freaking excited to see so many of you sacrificing finances, time with your family, vacation time from work, to be there because you believe in yourself and you believe in this business. And it was just, I'm getting the chills talking about it. Like it was just this realization that like, I don't know why it took it this, but we have a freaking awesome team. Like we have so many quality people on this team who are consistent with their business and consistent with showing up. And I believe that if you can show up a little bit each day, if you can hit success club every month, if you can you know, grow your team by one or two coaches every month, then you will hit those big, scary, hairy goals, which I pulled up the, the book finish. And I shared this with Shannon Lynch today. If you guys have not listened to this book, I'm literally like 40 minutes in and I want to listen to it all day. It's finish by John Acoff. And if you read his book, start, it's equally as good, but this is about finishing your goals. This isn't like all of us can sign up as a coach. All of us can start a program, but I think he said like 72% of people will never finish their goals that they set out for themselves. He has a 30 day hustle group that he helps people accomplish whatever goal it is. And he says by day two, more than half of the people have quit because they weren't perfect. And so his whole premise is about setting these goals and, um, finishing them and giving you tips and action items and a mindset to be able to finish. And I, I get nervous to set big goals for my team and for myself, because if I fail and miss them, I'm a failure. It's so much easier to just never set the goal and never like have to be put out of your comfort zone to hit that goal of 15 star, hit that elite goal or you know, believe in yourself enough to be able to do that or to carve out the time. And, and Matt and I talked a lot about that. Like time is my greatest excuse. However, I can make the time. Like I can find it. I can figure it out. I can make my kids a part of it. I can ask Matt, Hey, I just need two hours. 
from five to seven, you get home one night. Like that can make all the difference in your business. You guys saw my post last night. I chose Starbucks on myself versus going out with the girls. And that two hours makes such a big difference. So whatever, you know, I don't want to go too far into to limiting beliefs or excuses, but with the, when it comes to goals, I want you to just think about what are you able to do? What is manageable for you right now? as far as time-wise to your business. He looks a little anxious. And what I want you to think about is have this goal. Like my goal right now is seven star business center one and two star business center two. And it is absolutely doable without me even signing another coach on this team. Because there are that many of you that are capable to hit that goal in your business too, right? So think about the goal or think about the time that you have to commit. Think about your goal. And then I kind of want you to compare the two and be like, okay, do these match up? Like, don't write down five star in six months if you can only devote one to two hours on your business. Five star goal is going to be four hours of your business, four days a week, five days a week. So look at your goal monthly and yearly, and then I want you to cut that in half. So let's say, let's bring it on a smaller end. Your goal is to invite or to add 10 people to your network every day. If you miss one day, what happens? How do you feel? You can speak. How do you feel? Slacker. Slacker. You feel like you failed? Like you missed it? Like you didn't work your business the right way? Like, yeah. I wonder what's wrong with me. Why can't I make it work? Right. What would happen if you cut that goal into five people and you added five, or let's say you added six people, your goal was five, you added six. And I loved this analogy. What would happen if you, your goal was five, but you added six people? Then I'd feel like I was killing it. But you added less than 10. But that wasn't my goal. <laughs> so what he's saying is if your goal is 10 and you hit six, you feel like you failed. If your goal is five and you invite or you add six, you feel like you're on top of the world. Cut your goal in half. That doesn't mean you do half the work. Keep doing what you're doing, but don't set these goals that you might not be able to hit every day. Like I remember when I was supposed, like I wrote down, add 10 people to my network every day and I wouldn't be able to do it. I just couldn't do that when I had Lincoln or when I had Hayden, but I could do three, I could do four, I could do five. So just think about your goals and don't over, don't get over like, it's funny because every person, every other person's development book that tells you to like set your goals high and dream big and go for the sky. And that's so true. We want you to do that. But when you don't hit those, you feel like a failure, even though you were so amazingly successful. Right. That's why I was talking to someone like, oh, I wish they would do success club 20 and reward that. But why? So on the months that you don't hit Success Club 20, but you hit Success Club 12, you feel like a failure, right? So like set your goal to hit Success Club 10. And if you hit Success Club 12, you're great. If you hit it 20, you feel like amazing. If your goal is Success Club, if you're, if you're striving for Success Club 12, cut your goal in half to Success Club 6. Go for 12, but make that your goal. Does that make sense? Like it's gonna take some mental shifting and in that process, like, that doesn't mean that when you hit six, you end. That means you hit your goal. Keep going. Keep adding, doing what you're doing. And the other thing that I loved about this, what one section that he talked about was setting goals. He talked about this guy who wanted to do the, some Ironman marathon rubber. He was going to the gym, he was swimming, and he was running. So he set this schedule to do this, this triathlon, and he ended up not doing anything. He had this great routine going. He set this big, hairy, scary goal, and the goal like paralyzed him. So then he stopped doing anything, and he wasn't ready to do anything. And I was thinking about that with our business and like myself right now. I am in such a good rhythm. I'm in such a good groove. I'm doing my thing. I don't want to get out of that groove by setting a goal that paralyzes me. And then I do nothing right so if you're finding yourself in a good groove if you're adding to your network if you're inviting if you're hitting success club go okay what's one thing i can add this month 
to help me hit that next goal without overwhelming yourself. So you're not all of a sudden going, well, I can't do it all. I don't want to do any of it. It kind of goes with that all or nothing attitude. Does that make sense? Like I really highly recommend reading this book. I told, like I said, I'm 40 minutes in and I can't even like, I, I go to sleep so I can re listen to this book. <laughs> you know, it's so good. And I think it um, just kind of helps us as moms be able to manage our big goals better or our consistent goals that will help mm -hmm. us over time, which is another thing he mentioned. Yeah. Set the goal of five star, but don't say five star by December. Give yourself till next summit to hit five star. Give yourself that time to do it in a manner that allows it to fit into your schedule and not get burned. Out. You know, like I would love to be 10 star by next summit and five star in my second and open that third business center. But that gives me a year to accomplish that instead of being like, okay, I want to do that by the year end. Like there's a big difference. That goal is not too big, but I need more time to get there. All right. So listen to that book. If you're stuck on something for personal development, I highly, highly, highly recommend, especially coming off of summit where it was like, you're there and you like this energy and you see all these, this, you know, people being amazingly successful and you want that for next summit. Okay. I a hundred percent agree with you. I want to see you on stage for a success club legend for one star for two star for three star. You know, I want to see you on there for those things, but I want to also be able to just see you at next summit and not get you too burned out where you're like, I can't do this at all. And that's happened before. What book? It is Finish by John Acuff. So good. So good. Matt's reading another one, but I don't want to mess the title up, but he was like reading it to me word for word last night. Like he's walking around reading his book to me <laughs> and I was like loving it. He was, he was being so helpful. It was so cute, but I don't want to mess the title of the book up. So I will post that book in the um, team page. It cusses in the title and I really don't want to mess it up. So um, <laughs> make sure I have it right. Um, but it's been really good, really eye-opening. Um, so anyways, so, um, so based on that, based on goals and vision to feel like I want a team of consistent leaders. I want a team of consistent coaches. I don't want coaches that are quitting or not showing up one month because the last month they got burned out. Um, I'm all for a hustle season. Like I'm all for that. And then in September, I'm going to hustle when two kids are in school and Hayden's taken care of and you have that season. Okay. I want a team that is consistently showing up and, and earning an income to help their family or their spouse or, you know, pay for debt. Um, I want a team that's striving for helping their clients get smarter, making progress in your life. And I want a team that feels fulfilled by this. And I feel like the best way to feel, to feel fulfilled by this is for you to, to be confident in who you are and what you're doing. And if I could, you know, I'm in a meeting. Like it's, what do I want to say? By working on you and focusing on you, your business is going to thrive. And I think if we can be a team that collectively feels so good about who we are and what we're doing, and we just continue to pay that forward, we're going to be able to accomplish our goals on without, without a doubt. Like, and I saw that in so many of us this week at Summit, just a new fire that was lit, a confidence. I mean, Four of you girls walked across the stage in teeny tiny bikini and little, you know, clear heels. Like, there's so much growth going on this team, and I love where we're going, and I want to keep it, keep it that way. I want to just keep what we have going, going. Um, and I want you to hit those goals. So I really want you to think about what can, with what you're willing to put into your business, and there's no right or wrong. We're all in different phases of our business. Some of us can do three hours a day where all of us, you know, we do one and that's fine. But what I, you know, I want you to be consistent and I want you to not ever feel burned out. Right. So with that, I heard a lot of people wanting to go diamond. So I wanted to give you guys something to help you focus on that goal. 
but not to burn you out with another group to check in, more trainings to watch. Like we all know what to do. You just have to do it, right? Like, you know, you need to talk to people, you know, you need to post on social media. Um, but what Trina Gray does, and I absolutely loved this, was she did, um, just, it, it is a separate group, but it's super simple. We can even just run this in the team group for ease of check-ins, because it's only going to be six days, okay? That doesn't mean you're going to go diamond in six days, but this is going to help you for six days focus on um, diamond daily is what she called it. So these are six activities that you need to do daily to either solidify diamond get you know prep you for being a leader is really what this is about it's not about hitting a rank it's prepping you to be a good solid leader so that when you get to diamond you know what to do and again you don't get burned out by thinking you have to do all of these crazy new things like creating content having your own team call and you know having your own like huge team group that you're running all these trainings for um and, and recreating stuff that i have already done for you okay so we're gonna start this on Monday it's called the diamond daily six days six things what you're gonna have is you're gonna check into your challenge group that's gonna be task one so just checking into your challenge group going live doing a post and just encouraging you know your, your challengers if you don't have a team page I want you to create a team page but this is specifically for you to start reiterating information that I'm giving you um, so the second one is post in your team page and then you'll just uh, check back in with the topic that you posted about so maybe you listened to a good training maybe you had a takeaway from your personal development maybe um, you want to go live and share what's working for you or you want to go live and just give them some encouragement whatever that is for you I just want you for six days to touch base in your team, so that your face as leadership, not just mine. And maybe if you don't, if you know, if you have just, not just, but if you have two coaches or three coaches that are, you know, even part of your team, maybe a message thread might be better if you want to do that, or you can start a group. It doesn't matter either way, but just make sure you're connecting and posting something valuable to your team. Number three is your social media. YouTuber. It's scheduling your post or creating your post, making sure you are posting two to three times a day on your social media. Um, and I kind of took it one step further, but what's your focus for that week? That was a, a takeaway from Summit that I had that like my, my social media, I'm really good at, you know, posting consistently, but I very like never really have a focus. Oh, I'm going to post about coaching this today, or I'm going to post about a challenge group job where if I planned it better, you know, my workout post, I post every day, but maybe the first two weeks are about my challenge groups and how I love, you know, these got me started. And this is, um, you know, checking into my challenge groups is exciting and, and watching them, or I love being able to push play and having BOD and it's all focused on challenge group. And then the second two weeks, my coaching posts or my workout posts are more geared towards the coaching aspect of it. That way, when I do a coaching hook, they're not like, oh, I didn't even know she was a coach. Like, I don't know who she's talking about. Because for the last, you know, I haven't posted much about my business or working it. But you see what I'm saying? Or if you're running a challenge group and you start to talk about the challenge group and the community and it's so great. And then you do a challenge group hook and people know what they're getting in for. They know that they're probably going to have to have Beachbody on demand. They know they're going to need Chicology. They know they, they're on Facebook. Um, so just kind of being a little bit more organized with your social media posts. Number four is adding 10 new people. Now again, this is for six days. So that is not meaning that every day for the next 30 days, you have to add 10. But for the next six, make it a priority to add 10. And then after that week is done, we get a little massive action for six days. Go, you know, if you need to adjust to fit it more to your schedule of four or five, then do that. Number five is going to be invite to the business. And again, I'm going to let you guys set that goal for yourself. Maybe inviting two every day for six days is like daunting for you. It is for me right now. Like inviting two every day for six days, like that's a lot of people. 
but maybe you've been a little bit more consistent with it. And so you need to up it to maybe four people a day to invite specifically to the business opportunity. Number six is mentor someone in your downline or your personal sponsor coach. So you're going to touch base with them, ask them how they're doing, you know, what program, like just touch base with them, mentor them, be their mentor. And I, I hesitate in naming this Diamond Daily because I think even new coaches can do really well with this. You know, instead of posting in a team page, they can check into the team page, planning their social media, adding new people, inviting to challenge group. But for right now, because my brain is kind of fried on creativity, we're going to do Diamond Daily. And then maybe next month, we'll have a little bit more open focus. Does that make sense? So you guys will do this. I'm going to have a PDF. You're going to have to print it out or screenshot it, whatever one you want to do. You're going to post in this group that you got it done. And then at the end of the day, by like 8 p.m., it needs to be in. I'll do like, I'll do nine because I know some people do power hours at night. Um, and I'm going to pick a winner for six days. Maybe it'll be it. most likely out of ease. It'll be an Amazon gift card. <laughs> it's a little bit easier than me going to the post office. Okay, so we're going to try that. It'll create some massive action on our part for a short amount of time so that you don't get burned out for 30 days of doing all of this for 30 days. But it'll help you see that when you hit diamond, these are the things that all you, these are, this is all more you need to do is just mentoring your coaches and taking information that I'm giving you and you going live into your page off of a training instead of always just posting the training. Take your, put your takeaways or how, you know, you grew from it or, or what you're implementing. Any questions on that? Anything? Excited for it? A little push, but not like overwhelming? Yeah. 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 I'm excited to only have a six day goal. Yeah. Like if I can get through those six days solid and get a routine down, then it'll be easier. Yeah. And that's exactly what Trina Gray said. And it's, it was one of those things that it was like, duh. Um, you know, why do, why do you think Beachbody did clean week? Sean week? Hard, hard, what is it? Hard labor week? Mm -hmm. A week of hard labor. You know, before lift four. Like if they can, if, if we can get our clients to commit to a week and feel like, yes, I did a week and they're more willing to go forward a little bit further and they're willing to feel successful and versus, all right, you have this 30 days, here's what we're doing. And then by day seven, they're burned out. And then day eight doesn't happen. Way out there. Right. And so I was like, oh my gosh, this is so, this is so true. So true. And we'll try, if this all goes well, then we'll do it probably like the first week of every month. And we'll just do a little push, a little push to get momentum back for the month. Give you guys a little bit of focus and, you know, six days. And then go back to your normal schedule, your normal routine. Oh, are you smiling? Do you see the girls? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? It was so funny. We drove to Target, crying, 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 the whole way to Target. I get him out. He looks at me. Hey, happy as can be. <laughs> Just wanted to see mom. Um, okay, anything else? Any questions? All right, this is a really dumb question. No when, you say, <laughs> when you say add 10 people, you mean just like send 10 friend requests to new people that you're not with on Facebook or follow 10 more people on Instagram, that sort of thing? Yep, either or. Okay combination right. of both like I usually my daily is add 10 people on Instagram add five people on Facebook okay so that's usually my daily goals but again yours could be you know for this challenge 10 but on your daily add three people on Instagram add four people on feet like however it works best for your um time to work cool and if you missed Bonnie's thing on Instagram, no, it was Angie Bellamar, 531, like five photos, comment on three, send them a message or a follow if you feel comfortable. You don't have to, but you would add that person as one. Like if you're 
five likes, three comments, I would add that person as, you know, someone you've interacted with, someone new. I would count that. Anything else? So coming off a summit, for those that were there, does, what was like your top takeaway? You can share with the rest of the team who, who wasn't able to make it this time. Yeah, tell them. Tell them. Say, tell me. Anybody want to go? Is anybody talking? No, no just leak it. <laughs> Probably one of the biggest helpful things hey, that no. I saw Jonathan, was about um, <laughs> on the Instagram, instead of focusing on random stuff to look at the life phases and use that to help define your posts. Yeah. So yeah. that that's already helped me hugely widen. I made a list and I've widened like chicken keeping, duck gardening like the stuff that I do and I've already followed so many more people and I love that I love that yeah I love that she said that finding the green like she was always a no kid then married no kids and so she got pregnant her niche changed she's a new mom her niche changed she's you know same thing with me like keep adding kids <laughs> your niche changes you know, but I'm back in that new mom phase. I'm back in that breastfeeding phase. I'm no longer in that postpartum or that pregnancy phase. So I love that you brought that up. That's so true. Oh, sorry. Anybody? I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But just generally on the Instagram, like I, for the last few months have been like, I don't know what to do on here. And I came away feeling like, okay, now I have somewhere to go with the five, three, one and the life phase stuff so good I that was that. my big take. Yeah. and what's cool about Instagram, you, guys, you don't have to post like six times a day like you can do one post a day and be okay you know to get going and to get eyes on your page yeah and it's helping me with that oh sorry go ahead, Gina. i was just saying it's helping me try to figure out more things to post like um like posting about getting back and having all my friends still be alive and not fried and posting pictures of those flowers. And then the kids playing outside in the rain today because I'm a mom of rambunctious young boys on summer vacation. And mm -hmm. Trying to be more intentional about not just what I'm eating in the workout pictures so that people see me as a person, not just a sweaty person holding weights. <laughs> I think, you know, it's something that we've always said, you know, find your avatar or, you know, right, I, you know, who are you and your hab your hobbies, but I think sometimes we just need to, like, I love that she said it, like, a life phase, like, things change, and you might, um, Can you talk to you know, when people go through, uh, mm -hmm. trying to figure out, like, what's going on with their food, like, going dairy-free or trying paleo or trying, you know, vegan, like, all those things are, you know, part of your life stage your life phase where you know you need to adjust who you, you are able to adjust who you're talking to anyone else um can you guys hear me yeah i can hear you sarah okay um so i think my biggest takeaway from summit was like the all the talk about like that you have to be the positive light and not to let other people bring you down and that you can spread positivity and happiness just as easily as you can spread negativity and that should be like our purpose on social media to like combat what everybody else is putting out there and we're going to be that light that people can come to and just i mean getting people there to summit in person and making it real and turning it into a lifestyle and knowing that this is so much more than just like a job but it is like something that can be truly transformative I just I feel like it all came together at summit this year it was just awesome I agree Sarah I agree yeah like people are gonna post people are gonna read whether it's positive or negative so let's make it positive and you know there's at home workouts that people could take it as negative or MLM or network marketing or, you know, all that stuff. But we have an opportunity 
to be positive and share like what this has done and just encourage people in every walk of life without the intention of trying to sell them something, I think is a huge thing too. Like mm -hmm. to just genuinely want people to feel good. Like I genuinely want a mom to feel happy and joyful and not this stressed out chaotic mess um, at home. And for me, it's been at home workouts. It's been this community. It's been personal development, but it might just be for them, you know, just feeling encouraged to like just go do something. It might not be what works for me. Anything else? No. No. Well, I like no, what. I'm Sorry, go ahead. No, you talk. I was just gonna say I liked what the. I can't remember like the exact number that he said, but he was like, spend like thirty seconds every morning writing somebody an encouraging note mm -hmm. or something like that. I think that that's like an awesome thing to do because it just brightens people's day and they're so grateful for that. And it's kind of like a pay it forward effect. <laughs> it's funny you say that because I was just reading in the five star and above group. They, um, somebody posted like a gratitude challenge and I was like, Oh, I, I love that. So I saved it. And I think that might be something we could do for August. Like right now we're going to do the miracle morning, but I want to take, but one of the things that they talked about in that was, um, you know, send a, a teammate or a client or just someone close in your life, like that encouraging word or just simply like, I love you or, you know, thinking of you, like it doesn't have to be huge. <laughs> so. All right. Well, we can wrap it up. So just think about your goals. Be, be smart with them. Set them with, set them with the intention that it's something that you can do. Like, I would much rather hear you say, hey, my goal is Success Club 6 and hit that goal than Success Club 10 and you be, and then in, you hit Success Club 6 and instead of being excited about helping three people, you're discouraged you didn't help five. Does that make sense? Like, mm -hmm. I don't want you to set your goals low. I want you to set them doable for your life right now. Like, it would be stupid of me to say, my school is successful 100. I can't help 50 people this month. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, it's a great goal. It's helpful. But you know what else is a great goal? Hitting Success Club 20 and really, really being able to help 10 people. And get to know them and love on them and not let them fall through the cracks. You know, so set goals that you can accomplish in a time frame that works for your family, for your lifestyle. Set goals that make you feel good, that make you encouraged to go to do the next month. Like when we miss a goal, sometimes it's like, well, I don't really want to go to at this again. I've been trying to get Matt to Diamond for like eight months. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what my deal is. Like, I don't know what's going on, but every month I'm like, all right, this is the month and every month I miss it. So I'm like, okay, by the end of, you know, this week, I want to add two more coaches. Like I can do that. It just makes it so much more doable and feeling less like, oh, I miss, he's still not diamond, but I've added four coaches to his business center the last few weeks. Like that's something to be proud of and not discouraged on. So, you know, set goals that are going to light a fire so that you can accomplish next month's goals too and not get burned out. Right? Okay. So I will have the Diamond Daily stuff up. My goal is by Friday. Um, so we can start Monday and you guys can get printed off or get organized with that as well. So um, make sure you're on tomorrow night with Meg and me and Abby. That's going to be great. And we will see you guys later.